It will always amaze me as I look at a pattern, then see all the changes that can be done with that one pattern. Today on Fit to Stitch, we'll do just that with seams. How the seams are stitched can have a huge impact on the look of a final garment. Joining us today is Billy Burke, the queen of seam embellishment. She has been doing it for over 60 years and has so much knowledge to share as we walk down that seam embellishment path step by step. Join us. Fit to Stitch is made possible by Vogue Fabrics, Colorado Fabrics, Quality Sew and Vac, Sewtown, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Fort Smith, Arkansas, Kai Scissors. So steady. Beno's buttons. All brands. Cynthia's fine fabrics. And clutch nails. absolutely love what can be done with one pattern. So many of us as seamstresses, we think we need a new pattern to make a different look. And really what we need is to understand what we're going to talk about today, which is embellishing the seams. I'm going to invite Billy on because she is, I mean, I've traveled this world and I'm going to tell you something. I don't think I've seen as beautiful of work as what you have done. And so you're going to share with us today. How did you even get into this seam embellishment? Uh, it started for me about 35 years ago with a, um, a real nice show that, that uh, was in the fabric store that was my favorite fabric store. They had gotten in a, a shipment of cotton batiks, coordinated uh, fabrics, and they had put them out in such a way that it was just irresistible. You wanted all of them, one of those. All, all of yeah. them, yeah. <laughs> and I was about to start on a blouse that needed two coordinated colors. So I bought this. And I'm sorry to say, when I got it home and I made the first seam, I didn't think it, they made it nearly as well as I thought they would. <laughs> So, you know, we all do that. Yeah. We kind of decide that we could have done it better. Yeah. Is that fair? Well, we could have done it better. I, I could have chosen better. I, did, I, I was very uh, disturbed by that. So I looked in my stash, and I found a, a purple ribbon that was about an eighth of an inch wide. And uh, there was a spool of it, and I used all 10 yards of it Wow! to make the blouse with uh, dividing, putting that ribbon in all the seams where the two fabrics came together. And I thought when I was done that that purple ribbon really married them. I think you're right. I think that's incredible, the difference to me between this fabric and then, of course, this fabric exactly. here. It just ma it makes it look like this was just meant yeah. to be. So that was the beginning. That was the beginning. First time and you I, ever done it? That's the first time I did it. And... Um, I was very satisfied with the result. I bet. But better than that, I realized how much fun I had putting it together. And so since that time, I am forever looking for different reasons to embellish ah. seams and for different techniques to so embellish seams. So now it's seams. the joy of doing it, not just the... Exactly. The why. Exactly. And you actually enjoy the sewing, the stitching part of it. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Uh, another reason that I found for embellishing, uh, it became evident when I was using uh, striped fabric okay. or uh, print fabric, where I wanted this, the seams to match, to have everything match. 
Well, when you're doing a straight seam, that's easy. You can right. you can match right, right, the seam right, very right, well. Right, right. But when you don't, you're ah, so you, I can see where this would be hard have, because to, of the angles. Yeah, and and so I embellished it, what a which difference. gave it a, a buffer, and the buffer made the matching less important. The eye, it interrupts the eye. It's yes. just beautiful. And so then you apply it to? Uh, this, this garment uh, there was a print. And because it's um, a fitted garment, it has curved seams. You can't match the whole seam. You can match part of it. As you can sure. see, the, the uh, pattern flows really well up here. But down here, it doesn't match very well. Right. So I put in a little stripe of black piping, and it's just it, beautiful. It, it absolutely just continues that flower yeah, all the way across. Yeah. And what it does is hide, well, not hide, but camouflage the fact that the the bottom area here is not uh, perfectly matched per or matched. And it, it, you're right; it looks like there's not even a seam there yes. at all. But the seams are there for fitting. That's but you right. get a chance to really make it a lot right, better. Right. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay. All right, so this now is one of my favorites. <laughs> if you if you want to add a color to your garment, the best thing to do is to embellish the seam in that color. And in this particular case, oh, it, I the see. the leftover material of the pants or the skirt makes a wonderful embellishment the for the jacket. So it just ties it all together. Yes. Oh. And the color choices, you just create colors you like. Exactly. Boy, exactly. that is absolutely beautiful. And you've got the pants and everything all ready to go. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some more. Let's look and see what else you've got. When, when I'm looking for a new project, I flip through the pages of the catalog we all and, do that, I and, think. Yeah, well, and I you find... take something out of those catalog pages a little different than I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, I, if I find, uh, I find that I am really drawn to a pattern that has good style lines. Okay. And if the good style lines are different, unusual, and if they are innovative, then that pattern gets bought. Oh, so it's what Decides it's yes. That, For you, it's what decides this is yes. The um, and because it's, it does that, I think it should be emphasized. So I embellish makes it. Makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. It. Why have seams that you can't see? Exactly. All right, that makes sense. This, this particular, ja uh, particular blouse uh, intrigued me because the collar came together with, it, it kind of segued into the, uh, into the placket. And I loved it. I did too. It's beautiful. So I embellished the seams, as you can see. And you can imagine also, if I hadn't embellished it, all the lines would have been lost in the labyrinth of lines. It's of, beautiful. Uh, and you're right. Uh, those uh, lines uh, and the uh, distinction uh, of the uh, lines, they uh, don't uh, actually uh, do anything other than just separate the parts. Uh, exactly. It's absolutely stunning. That fabric. <laughs> but do you see that in your mind before you do it, or do you kind of sit back and play with the colors and figure uh, out what will go well or what no, will I not? Play, I play with them. I, I, see, I see them before I do them, obviously. but. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes it comes just like that. And yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it takes well, a little bit of time. Yes. Yes. Love this one. Uh, and if you choose to embellish the vertical seams, as we did on Linda's jacket, we get a very slim silhouette, and you can lose uh, very painlessly lose five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and we can all use that. Yeah, you don't have to dye it. You don't have to do all the hard. Just embellish exercise. the seams vertically. Just embellish the seams. I love that. Uh, no matter what, the reason was that I decided to embellish the seams. You get extra benefits from it because you now have a, a project that is entirely yours. It's uniquely yours, and there's great satisfaction to that. I would absolutely agree and with that. I think as all sewers, we really want to create a product that we know is, is yeah, about exactly. us. Yeah. And besides that, 
you would have had a wonderful time, a jolly good time putting it together. So it's the process that we uh, need to process. learn to really exactly. enjoy. Now, there are an awful lot of ways to embellish. Uh, it's endless, but we don't have time to give you but a few of them. And the first one I want to show you was suggested to me by my daughter, Linda, just recently. It's one of those things that you look at and you wonder why you never thought of that a long time ago. We all do that. You okay. do that even? I do that. Oh my gosh, that's hard for it, me to believe. This, this is one of the easiest ways to embellish. It doesn't take any extra work at all. Uh, if you have a piece of fabric that is good on both sides, and two different colors on both sides. Uh, and, and if it's a knit, it won't ravel. You simply sew it as you would have, except the wrong sides together. Press the seams open and tack down the seam allowance. And now you have lines that really show you why? So you're saying to me that this is just the seam allowance pressed open? just the seam allowance open. Oh my gosh. And, and then you just stitch down the edges? The edges so that it'll stay put. So that's why you say it's easiest. I thought this was such precision that it had to all be. Um, it, it, it's, it's just a seam. It's so simple and ah. it's the same seam you would have sewn the other way. So you're giving away all your secrets. Well, I'm sure. Why not? I just not? really <laughs> like that. If all it right. will help. <laughs> I really like that. All right, now, so this is another easy method. method. It uses a double needle, and you sew the seam your regular way, press it open, and then feed this into your machine so that the seam is exactly in the middle of the foot. And if you're lucky enough to have a, an edge uh, joining foot, it has a little doohickey on the bottom, okay. <laughs> which really runs right down your seam, and it makes sure that both seams are exactly parallel and both seams are exactly equidistant from the seam. Perfect. Perfect and very easy. Wow, so they do all the work for you. Okay. We're going to see this one, then we need to start on piping. I want to make sure we get those piping details shown. Okay. Linda is wearing a jacket that uses a edge raising seam. A little bit more difficult, but not much. Yeah, that's beautiful. You, do, you, do it, you make the seam. I don't, don't know if it shows up it for you. It is incredible right? to me what a little tiny impact has uh, on that seam. Yes, yes. Her vertical seam, she has six of them, and they are um, all edge stitched this way, um, regular seam, pressed open, then press close wrong with the wrong sides, sides together, together uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the edge is the seam. Okay. And with that same wonderful foot, the edge joining foot, you can make a stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge, and that uh, will give you the nice raised edge. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Now do we get to now, go to piping? <laughs> <laughs> if you're ready. I'm so ready for piping because I love it. I think there's just so many okay, things it that It is we... my favorite. Yeah. And uh, my favorite way of, you, my favorite thing I use is rat tail, which is rayon and it's flexible and it's washable. It comes in two widths, an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. Okay. Uh, the hardest part of this is to get the, the exact, carefully cut uh, bias uh, strip. If you do that, everything else will fall into place beautifully. Okay. The bias strip has to be the twice the width of your seam allowance and twice the width of your Decided, whether it be quarter making, inch or eighth inch, whatever yeah. that is, okay? Okay, so in this case, I needed five eighths and five eighths for okay. the seam allowance. Okay, I, I needed, folded it in half, uh, wrong sides uh, together. Yeah, yeah. and, and you just... needed an eighth and an eighth for the rat tail, which means altogether uh, one and a quarter inches for 
the simulons and uh, the two eighth of an inch. Is, they can do the math. Uh, well, they can do the math. Okay. <laughs> Whatever okay. their variables are, right. they can add it all up together. Uh, exactly. Okay. Um, make sure that the two edges are even and based close to the rat tail. Right, and you can use any kind of foot you want to to get close to that. Exactly. And this one you've done. This is beautiful. It, yeah. That, this that, is all the way finished. Uh, yeah, ready to be put. So your precision here is to make sure these edges are even. Uh, okay. Exactly. All right. I sew the, the seam on, I sew the piping onto the half of the seam. Okay. And this time I'm careful to have three edges together. Okay, so that would be the two there and the one bottom. bottom. And okay. then you add to it, uh, you move your needle so that it will sew it. And clean and it all out, up for you. And, Make it nice and, and crisp. crisp. And, and, and it will sew it by itself very much if you just keep that Get that, that needle just in the right position. That makes okay. a lot of sense. Then put, put your second half of the seam on top of the first one. Okay. And... Uh, make sure at this point that you've got notches that you matched and got the fit that you had originally. Sure, sure. And, and then sew it, maybe a click or two of the needle moved over so it's exactly next to the rat tail. In that same space. And, and this is what you end up with. And that is just going to make any garment yes, stunning. Absolutely. I love, love piping. piping. And when you've practiced enough and you've done it, why not double piping? That's like double matting on a picture frame. It's my exactly. favorite. It's That's beautiful. beautiful. Or, or wow. this double thing. And one of these days, soon as I'm going to do a triple, I'm sure. <laughs> haven't you haven't done, done it yet? Haven't done it yet, oh but I will. Oh, my gosh. That's surprising. <laughs> All right. So let's show me what else. This is just too much fun. So this is where you've actually done the piping on yeah, a jacket. Yeah. And I did the piping on a jacket by using yep, this perfect. fabric. Okay. Which is a, a print. This is a, a wool uh, woven fabric. And I know that the back of it has all the colors of oh, the pattern. And so therefore, the it's back. going to oh uh, be very compatible. And I use that for the piping. And I got a really nice line. It's beautiful. So this is one you really, more so than this one that didn't marry very well, this one this marries really much better. better. <laughs> okay. Exactly. This one worked a lot better. Speaking of marriage, it's been a few years of yours. Uh, my, my anniversary tomorrow is How many years? 64 years. 64 years married? Yeah. So you know all about it's marriage. It's not a fabrics. very long time. <laughs> it's not a very long but time. But you definitely know what works together yes. and what doesn't. Yes. I like that. All right. So then we look like we've got a, a special visitor. I think this is a product uh, of some of those years of marriage, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Linda has done... Uh, Linda, your daughter. My daughter. Uh -huh. Has top stitched this to perfection. And top stitching is probably the most popular way to um, uh, embellish seams. She has chosen a, a, um, a thread that is contrasty and brings out the, the little bit of silver that's in her uh, it's beautiful. Denim. Yeah. denim. And she has done one, two, four rows of it. And every one of her seams is embellished. It is absolutely the prettiest uh, jeans outfit that I've ever seen. I would seen. have to agree. I would have I to mean, agree. Because you did beautiful. not only the jacket, but you made the pants as well. I did. Yeah, That's absolutely right. stunning. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, what I did was top stitch uh, much more subtly. I used, I used the um, same color thread pretty much as the uh, fabric color. But instead of pressing the seams open, I press them all to one side and oh. top stitched on it's that almost side. almost like a jean. It gives like a little ridge yeah. in there. And I have this little ridge which shows it does. The, that lines is that, the lines that Look at that. I the wanted. The style lines that you yeah, love. Yeah, exactly. And it shows you why I chose the pattern. Yeah. Yep. You love those style lines. Okay. I don't think this, there's any better proof than this one. Because, you know, this, I love when, from the front, it's not 
Yeah. I mean, it's wonderful, but from the back, it really... Well, I, I used two things. I did uh, piping, and I did top stitching as well, because I wanted this design to pop. And I... Did you create the design? No. It was, this in, a was in the it was pattern. Part of the pattern. This okay. is a very old pattern. Okay. But I, but I liked it so much, I wanted it to be seen, and that's what I did. And would you say the plain with the pattern is just, like, I notice in this one, the colors back here, like, how do you make those decisions? It's just playtime? Well, it, it, came, it came along with the, um, what colors were in the uh, silk dupioni. In the first place. In the okay. first place. So you just and look then, and study the fabric yeah, and kind yeah. of just really... And this is the color of the pants. Oh, okay. So, so the whole thing. So you think outfits? You. Yes. Oh, I, oh, I, I knew I liked you. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I liked you from the get-go. We yeah. always think outfits, then we can work it backwards. Uh, this is this is an unusual uh, embellishment. It takes a little more time. It's not difficult, but when I saw this fabric, I it spoke to me of green beads, and so I went out and bought a box of green beads that had different sizes and different shapes. And I sewed them by hand in between every one of the panels. And it ended up as a, a reversible top that gets more compliments than anything else <laughs> that I ever made. But it's all done by hand. Yes. It's all done by hand. Tell me about the outfit you've got on. Uh, this uh, pattern that I used here, uh, it does not have any good style lines. It's a very simple pattern. It, it has no, n nothing of interest. Okay. But it fits me. I've made it a number of times, and I know it fits me. And uh, what I did was trace uh, the, the pattern in my size with all the fitting corrections in place. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I traced a whole front just a whole beautiful. back, a whole left sleeve, a whole right sleeve, and I so used it's asymmetric. It, yes, and I used that pattern as my canvas for the design that I put on it. So if you couldn't find style lines to buy, you made I your made, own. I made right. I like that attitude too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what I did then is make uh, trace the little pieces that have now become part of this outfit, uh, added seam allowance to each line, sure. added notches so that, put heaven forbid, I have to put it back <laughs> together. I'll know which piece goes with which piece. Right, right. And I have something that is really mine. Fun, fun to make. I am telling you, I don't think I can say thank you enough to you and your daughter, Linda, for being here because if anyone does a tenth of what you've done, and I hope that you'll get the joy that you've brought us. Thank uh, you hope, so much for I being here. I hope you here. get the joy oh, that I, know I brought I will. to you. I'm going home and embellishing. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. thank you so much. And, you know, there's some key things that I picked up in there, and I think one of them is time to play and the joy, and those are all things we all think about when we're sewing. Sometimes I know we struggle with fit, and we struggle, will it be this or will it be right? But to have time, and I've learned this in my own life, to have time to just play, to really let your mind work and create, to pull the colors, to pull the, the textures and the blends and put them all together, that's really what Billy does, and she just does it beautifully. So let's review some of what she taught us about seam embellishment. The first technique is adding thread only. Here we have a simple top stitch, and as we learned, a double needle will help to give you a more exact top stitch. Seam embellishment can help coordinate fabrics, as we can see in this sample. Raising the stitch line is another creative way to add style and contour. The second technique Billy taught us involves not just thread, but adding in another layer of fabric. This can help to create a buffer so that matching patterns is not as critical. Piping, besides adding texture, helps pull colors together. You can do single or double piping. By piping with the opposing sides of the very same fabric, you can create an accent with the seam and achieve a perfect color match since it's the same fabric. Billy has so inspired us to get creative with seams. She's told me one time she has more clothes than she'll ever need, and that's okay. Mary Kate Olson said, 
I love getting amazing jackets because you can wear your pajamas underneath and everyone's like, oh, fabulous jacket. Next time on Fit to Stitch, we'll make fabulous, amazing jackets. Fit to Stitch is made possible by Vogue Fabrics, Colorado Fabrics, Quality Sew and Vac, Sewtown, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Fort Smith, Arkansas, Kai Scissors, So steady. Beno's buttons. All brands. Cynthia's fine fabrics. And clutch nails. To order a 4 DVD set of Fit to Stitch Series 7, please visit our website at fittostitch.com.